Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn about form group, how to get values for the entire form or for individual form comp controls. We will learn all about that in this tutorial. We will do some practical hands-on but this is a continuation of the past two tutorials where we are learning about reactive forms. So make sure that you have seen the previous two videos in order to have a continuity of the learning. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge with you. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials and question answers and the series for you so please support me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel thank you in advance i have created a full angular 9 tutorial playlist which has around 45 46 tutorials from basic introduction to the advanced concepts so make sure you have check it out the description in the description box there is a playlist link so make sure you have check it out to learn and master angular 9 so we are continuing with our learning series on angular forms we have seen how to implement uh, reactive forms we have learned how to put validations in the reactive forms today we are going to learn how to get the values of the form individually of each form I'll control as well let's get started so we know that each form group in reactive forms has form controls or form fields we can read the value of the entire form in one go or we can read the value of individual form controls. Let's see that how to do that by doing some hands-on examples. So let's go to our code. All right. So just to show you where we are with our application, this is our reactive form that we have built so far. We have some validations, right? Uh, we have validations for email address, minimum, uh, minimum length, maximum length, and details. So today we are going to read these values in our form. The form is disabled because we have to check it. So once we submit, we should be able to read the values from this form. That's what we are going to learn. Now, in the form, if you see, we have used ng submit event to submit and post the data. In the post data, if you notice carefully, we have not yet passed the form, right? So we don't have to pass the form. Instead, what we need to do is read it from the component itself. That's why we are not passing the form here. If it was template driven forms, we will pass the value here. Now in the component class, I'm just logging the entire form object right now in the post data method, right? So let's see that first in action and then we will customize to read the value. So first go to form, enter the values, open the inspect element, go to console, clear this. Now I have entered the details, I click on checkout. Now you see it has given the entire form group object, right? It has controls, it has values, it has status. So we are interested in reading the value, right? So to read the value of the form controls, we can we can write control log this dot checkout form dot value. Now this will give value of all form controls of the form. Right? So this will give the entire form values. Now let's see that in action. tutorials at and some value here and agree to terms and clear the console so now we don't have anything now when I click on checkout now you see here it is printing me the form values right so it we are able to capture all the values that the user entered in the form so here we can see email address quantity terms are all captured the values right now this was about capturing the entire form value in one go. But in most cases, we will require 
to read individual values right there will be use cases where we want to read certain values of form fields so we can say console dot log this dot checkout form dot now here we have to give the value of which form control you want to read now I'm saying that I want to read the value of email address right so now I, what I'm saying here is first print the form object then print the entire form value and then print only the value of the email address let's see that in action so here let's again enter the details and agree to terms clear this here now you see the first is the form group entire form object then we have the form values and then it is showing me the individual value of the form control which is the email address so I can extract any value of any form control via just by putting dot value dot the control name so here I'm going to say quantity and here I'm going to say terms so this way we can extract values the way we want it all right dot tutorials at gmail oh man 34 agree to terms now you see we have extracted the value of the form controls individually we have arc dot tutorials we have 34 we have true so we are able to extract the individual values or we can say in order that we are now we are getting the value of entire form right in one go using this form dot value or we can say we are getting or reading the value of individual form controls right so this is how you want to read the values you can easily do that in your uh, reactive forms this was quick tutorial in the next uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to set value today we learned about getting value similarly we can even set the value of form controls and form in the next episode I'm going to show you how to do that if you like this video give a thumbs up to the video please subscribe to my channel to keep getting tutorials notifications thank you so much see you in the next episode